the arrival of 33 new ambulances in Sierra Leone provides a significant boost to the effort to combat Ebola in the western area of the country, which includes Freetown, the nation's capital. Added to the 16 existing ambulances, the National Ebola Response is now much better equipped as efforts are intensifying to reach all suspected patients and to bring them to holding centers and Ebola treatment units. This ambulance team is being dispatched to an area outside the city. As the team reaches its destination, the patient is nowhere to be found and no one knows where he has gone to. Well, we can't, we ask for the patient, the people are saying, I don't know where the patient don't go. So I don't confuse you now, so they try to the turn back. The operation center dispatches the ambulance to another location, which also proves hard to find. Lack of infrastructure and communications is one of the many challenges faced by responders. Finally, the suspected patient is found and the decision is made to take him by ambulance to a holding center where he will be tested for the Ebola virus. Before the ambulance team departs, the patient's home is sprayed with chlorine to eliminate all traces of the virus. With over 8,000 Ebola cases, Sierra Leone is now the worst affected country in West Africa, leading the government and the United Nations mission to mount a surge response. The new ambulances will play a very important role in that effort.